Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how we can integrate Mongo Atlas database in our project. First of all, I'm going to the Google and search Mongo Atlas. You can see here in the first link, I click sign up with Google. First time I am entering the MongoDB. So I just click, I accept the terms and condition. So it's take time to load the project. So these are the default configuration for our project. So here I want to choose JavaScript. So I just click continue. So our project loaded successfully. So you can see here, here we want to choose our plan. So better to go with the free plan. So this is good for the learning and exploring the MongoDB. So I just click create. So I selected the free plan. You can see here. Uh, so I just keep the default selection as it is. So I just click create cluster. You have to make sure this is free one. So our cluster is created successfully. So I just click no thanks here. So this is our cluster. So you can see here I'm going to the network access. Here. I just click add IP address. You can see there are default two options here. One is add current IP address. Second one is allow access from anywhere. So I just click for the testing purpose. I just click allow access from anywhere. So the default is take the IP address. I mean 0.0.0. .0. So there are no optional command here. I just click confirm. So then I go to the database access. Here we want to add a user. So I just click add a new user. So I just create a user called uh, programming makes sense. That's called PMS, our YouTube channel name. And password is, I just click auto generate secure password. So and copy this one and read and write to any database. That's fine. Then I click add user. So we create a user successfully. So I again go to the database. So our cluster still creating it's take time. So you can see here the message showing your cluster is being created. So I just click a new tab and search mongoose npm mongoose npm. So there are one option, the first link, I click the first link, Mongo's NPM. You can see here, this is Mongo's. So in order to use the Mongo Atlas database in our project, we have to use this Mongo's NPM package manager. So I, what I'm going to do is I just go to the bottom and copy this one and go to my project. npm install mongoose i just hit enter so mongoose installed successfully so i am going to the package.json file so you can see here mongoose version is added so you may guys wondering so before this in the last four tutorial we never see these kind of icons so i what i did is like i just go to that extension and i install some plugins here so if you want you can install these plugins so it's after you install successfully, the icons will change. That's uh, nothing related to coding. So I'm going to the app.js file. So I'm going to run the server. In order to use the Mongo database, we have to add the Mongos here. So I just enter here the number line number four and You can see here this is using node.js so I just copy this one and paste it here. Before I use the Morgan as a middleware I just click here. So I copy this one and paste it here. You can see here 
we have to give the mongo database url here so i just go to that mongo atlas and so our cluster is created successfully i just click the connect you can see here there are three options available here i want to select the middle one connect your application so this is our mongo database url so i just copy this one so here they mention in the password section we have to choose the password and our username is the pms so password which we gave before which means i copy this one i close this one this user password so i just again go to that our project and paste the url here so here we want to replace this password with our user password so i just click edit and here i want to choose edit password and auto generated secure password i just copy and update user so i am again go to that project and select this password option and paste it so we successfully paste our password here but if you go to the production we have to keep all our you know config file in a separate folder or separate file so as of now i just keep it with my coding in future i will going to change this credential config file into separate file the thing is we want to connect with database this line will help to connect with our database which mean our mongo atlas database so what i am going to do is i just then so you can see here i just going to remove this await here and so we are trying to connect our mongo database so if it's success we will get the console log as database connected if it's a failure we will get the output as database not connected and with the error message so you can see in the terminal uh, database connector so which mean our program connected with our mongo atlas database now the time to add the database credential into the config file so in order to add the credential file into the config file i have to go to the google and open a new tab and search config not just npm so in the first link i click the first link so you can see here this is a config file so in order to install the config file i just copy this one npm install config i create a new terminal and clear this one and paste it here and i just hit enter so config file installed successfully i again go to the documentation you can see here they are making a directory after that the directory name called config so inside the config we have to make one json file that is called default.json inside the json we have to store like this so what i'm going to do is i just copy this one and come here and paste it here and hit enter so you can see here config file is created and again i am going to that uh, i just copy this default and i create this i click this config and add one file default.json i hit enter so i just copy this one and paste it here so i remove these comments here and here so i delete this one i did this comma and again this is a customer so i just keep like tutorial no like programming makes sense our youtube channel name then db config which means you can give whatever the name you like but thing is like db config mean database configuration 
in host and port number and database name so what i'm going to do is like so here we want to pass the port number so as of now i keep it as it is then i will going to change so you can see here database name so i come to the app.json i copy this string here copy and paste it here so that's fine so i delete this one so here we have to call the default json pms db config db name so we have to call the db name here so use config in your code so this is a way we have to import the config file i just copy and hit enter and paste it here so then const db config i copy this one and paste over here so you can see here customer.db config so the thing is like in our case this is not a customer this is pms db config so i am going to that here i just type pms so pms db config so which means pms this one and db config so inside that we have to use the db name so i just click db name so and name is capital so i just copy and paste it here so db config i just copy this one and paste it here so that's fine so now i close this bash and see again we got the output as database connected this is my youtube channel if you guys like the video just hit subscribe button and like the videos